My name is Benjamin Beeks, and this is my story. I'm 15 years old. I live in Monticello, Indiana, and my parents' names are Brian and Bootsy Beeks. My dad is a pastor at the Monticello United Methodist Church, and my mom was a nurse before I was born. I started running in the summer before seventh grade. It's always been a lot of fun for me to do, and has come very naturally with my extremely long legs. And, you know, it's always been something fun for me to do and, you know, a, a good excuse for me to hang out with friends. On October the 30th of 2009, I received my seasonal flu vaccine and come Sunday morning, I woke up and, you know, everything felt normal and went to the bathroom, did everything, the normal routine and, my legs collapsed under me after a bit. Being a runner, you know, that's never something you exactly expect. They called the doctor and told him what was going on, and he said that we needed to get in right away. And so, you know, we went in, and he had an MRI and X-ray and blood work all done at home hospital, and, you know, everything came back fine. And then a neurologist came in late that night, and did an EMG on me at home hospital. He he came back with the results and said that I probably had a, a, a syndrome called Guillain-Barre. We had no idea what that meant, what that was. Guillain-Barre destroys the nerve linings. Um, so that synapsis that tells the brain tells the, a leg to move, there's dis, it's destroyed in between the myelin sheath. So it can't travel to where it's supposed to travel until that body part to move. Because they believed that it was caused by the seasonal flu vaccine, the doctor said that you know there was a one in a million chance. Uh, so again, as we talk about the uh, the likelihood of, of getting Guillain-Barre from a flu shot, it, it's really mm -hmm. very rare. Mm -hmm. Well, after the diagnosis Monday night, I was in the hospital for about eight days total, and we opted to have the treatment of gamma globulin or IVIG and it seemed to work and eight days later was out of the hospital and even though I was still on a walker things things seemed to be going uphill again and you know sat down for a Colts game like we always do on Sundays and you know watched the game and when I got up I just collapsed and I was completely paralyzed waist down I still couldn't help being, you know, pretty, pretty afraid that there was something wrong, you know. A chronic Guillain-Barre had slipped through my mind, but I wasn't too concerned about that at, at that point. When I went into the hospital for the fourth time and everybody, you know, was starting to get concerned at that point because it had been pretty close to two months since the first onset of Guillain-Barre. But further testing showed that it was not chronic GBS and and that was a big relief, and slowly but surely the uh, rehabilitation began, and you know it started getting back to normal. Well, the the nurses at Saney they did so much to try and raise my spirits, and honestly, if if they wouldn't have done so much for me, then I'm not sure that I would be as healthy today as I am. Those are really the kind of nurses that you want, and thankfully the kind that I got you know, started getting an idea of, you know, raising awareness, but raising money as well. And, you know, that's really when I got the idea of the uh, 5K. And this was a huge success, and we ended up raising just under $5,000 for the GBS Foundation. Well, after GBS, Dad said to me that, you know, he would start running with me in, in my rehab. And, you know, was kind of shocked to me because he's never run before and you know he actually committed to it and did very well and he's gone from hardly being able to run half a mile or a mile to easily being able to run six or seven and I really could not be more proud of him for how well he's done.